Yo, what's up everyone, Ufo here, and today, as you guys can probably tell from the title, we've got this clan chest here, tier 10, and ready to open. This thing contains 2 epic cards and 27 rares, and on top of that, we've got this 10 win grand challenge chest to open. This thing contains 6 epic cards, 67 rares, and on top of that, we've got this giant chest here from Arena 11 to open, and this thing contains 57 rare cards. And yeah, we got a bunch of chests to open that are all pretty awesome. We're hoping hoping for that legendary card and guys we're only one golem away from that level 7 golem so we're hoping for just one golem this will help me out on ladder so much you would not believe and after we're done opening up all these chests we're going to hop into some 2v2 double elixir draft challenge so yeah that game mode's insanely fun i want to keep playing it but yo hopefully you guys enjoy this if you do make sure you guys leave a like and of course apparently we get legendary cards after you like the video try it see if it works all that good stuff and of course subscribe if you have not already and yeah without any further delay let's hop into this chest opening okay giant chest we're hopping into it now four cards that means we're getting an epic card i think but hey there we go we get a poison that's amazing out of a giant chest getting an epic card is just great we get some ice golems we get some goblin gangs that's actually pretty good and we get 42 heal spells okay so next up here we got this clan chest tier 10 two epic cards 27 rares let's get this legendary we get some gold to begin with we then get some zaps please man i'm hoping so much we get some ice spirits that's okay okay royal giants <sighs> We then get some barbarians, they're already maxed, so we're going to get gold. We then get some bombers, we haven't got a legendary card, that's so sad. Two bowlers and 27 hog riders, that's a disappointing chest. Okay, so now we'll go hop into this 10 win grand challenge chest. Something really weird about this grand challenge chest is I actually played the same dude twice in the same challenge. So you can see here at 6 wins and at 8 wins here, we played the exact same guy. And it's the same profile and everything, you guys can see there his position in the world and if we go to this one the exact same dude it was just really weird how i played him twice in the same challenge i beat him but yeah it's just weird how that can happen and also i don't know but has that happened to any of you guys before let me know that in the comment section if it has whether it's a classic challenge or grand challenge but yeah let's hop into this chest now six epic cards 67 rares best chance of getting a legendary and that one golem please give me that one golem if i get that one golem i'm happy if i get a legendary card i'm happy please game work with me here just give me something we get some gold that's okay cannons that's okay okay dark goblins we've seen quite a lot of rares i think that's lost the rares now give me some more comments give me some epics no ah oh, golems please <sighs> I have no words for this chest, man. Chest luck is not on my side today. Okay, guys, so I wasn't happy with the chests. Obviously, we're one away from getting that golem. So, yeah, I decided to do another grand challenge. We went 11 and 3. I choked it at the end, as I normally do. This thing now contains 8 epic cards, 86 rares. Give me a legendary or golem. That's all I'm asking for, game. I don't want anything else. I don't care about anything else. I just want a golem. Is it that hard? But, yeah, we get dark goblins. We get bomb towers. We get goblin huts. We get giants. We're seeing a lot of we get barbarian huts and then we get one mirror card that's pretty bad not gonna lie 13 battle rams some arrows we haven't seen enough common so we're not getting a legendary but we're getting seven peckers <sighs> chest lock just isn't on my side today i don't know what it is anyway we're still in need of that one golem i have the worst chest lock ever and we didn't even get one golem or a legendary but we're gonna go in now to some 2v2 double elixir draft challenge and yeah i read a lot of your guys comments yesterday and a lot of you guys are so annoyed at this challenge because of your teammates which is actually i feel for you guys so much you would not believe anyway we're draft my opponent picked a royal giant over a lava hound but we got an inferno dragon okay okay we also got a night witch who gave me that okay my partner starts off by playing royal giant at the back whenever my partner picks a royal giant over something like a lava hound i just feel like they're not going to be the best player ever which is i guess a bad thing here would you go play the inferno dragon to deal with that lava hound my ice golems just going along there doing some work oh okay we need to play defense here i'm letting my partner pretty much deal with offense i'm just more like playing defense and hopefully this all works out what did my partner even do i actually have no clue anyway we did some damage to their tower inferno dragon's just locked on again and like i said right then i was just playing defense mostly for our team here need to play a minor thank you for those elite barbs we need to take out this witch she's really annoying yo but we've got a bit of a rush going down the other lane as well which is awesome and please man minor go 
Mine go. Mine go. Oh, this could actually be good. Like, if the Inferno Dragons get locked on, this could be amazing. The Inferno Dragon is running over there. He locked onto the tower. Oh, there's actually no way. Clutch Inferno Dragon. Go win us the game. Why? So many questions. Okay, you got the wish. Like, that's okay. That's acceptable. I will. You know, it could have been a lot worse. But hey, let's just remember here. My partner picked a Royal Giant over a Lava Hound. So, weird stuff. Anyway, here we'll go, like, try and defend this. We played an Ice Golem just to, like, tank mostly. Okay, this guy just played his Royal Giant at the bridge that's fine they got lava loon so i don't really know why they're not doing that combo more like now oh lightning's a bit aggressive there was no need anyway snow golem here to block i think we've won this game yeah we've definitely won it that's a good game eight hp left on their tower would you go take that with the poison and yeah that's a good game um yeah let's not like choke it at the end here like this is just where they go and three crown us real quick i like i kind of stopped playing because like i got a bit cocky but yeah i don't think we're gonna lose yeah there we go we're good and my partner's bming quite a lot and yeah let's go into another one here Ooh weird so because i got a deciding factor of the game i'm just gonna let my partner draft because if my partner gets you know for example a lava hound or something that can decide the game like a balloon now i'll pick obviously the lava hound and we're good pick and freeze as well to help out with this rush and yeah really like that that's the like what will make or break this game really so we're looking very likely right now to win it since we have got lava loon please play a giant do it emote it's the only way to do it here i genuinely played like some spear goblins to defend this terrible defense i know but it's the only thing i have he also played a musketeer for that valkyrie not bad not bad everything's just go kind of run towards the tower he plays an executioner down that lane and that has me a bit worried so i'm just gonna go down the other lane just because yeah i'm pretty sure this is all gonna die oh i didn't even need that fireball i'm bad okay like i just messed up badly doesn't matter though we got a pretty decent rush going here on top of that i need to freeze it it's annoying because i don't have the greatest counter in the world for this execution and i just wanted the balloon to connect but it didn't kind of sad oh well we're just gonna keep lava hound spamming them save those musketeer as well no she died oh we're doing a bunch of damage here with the lava pops why did you just arrow that you know what i can't complain i've made so many questionable plays in this game so yeah we took a tower so we're good they got such a like defensive deck really weird anyway bomb tower has to go defend this hopefully other tower looking a bit low not gonna lie but we should be okay please play your balloon thank you it's like you can hear me man they need to add voice track to clash royale that's what they really need for 2v2s. Could you imagine that? Like, how funny that would be? Hearing, like, your opponent rage or whatever when you BM them. Obviously, I never BM because, you know, I'm a good Samaritan, but... Anyway, they just took a tower back. So, yeah, we really need to, like, start playing well again. And they're rushing us down the other lane. Okay. I was about to say, where's my lava hound? Then the balloon's just, like, completely covering it. So weird. Anyway, just go freeze that. Going to hopefully be able to ice spirit that. Nope, didn't work out. Oh, well. Blue made a connection, which is awesome. And here I can just fireball cycle them more than anything. Zap it. Oh... I tried to kill that executioner. Didn't work out. Okay, so here just like heavy defense really is what we need. Heavy defense, I said, is what we need. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have used that fireball on the tower. We could have been winning. We could have won it. Why are you arrowing? Don't do that. Like we need to play defense for a bit. There we go. We win. We win. Just defend. 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 Boom. There we go. Okay, clutch fireball. Okay, so here we go pick archers. That's just a basic first move. Then dark prince. Weird deck. He's got like a zap bait deck. I, I think we're going to go with Bowler, just because I think the Bowler could get value otherwise. Also, Bowler's a pretty good defensive card. Let's see what happens. Okay, they play a Balloon to begin with. I have zero counters. So, mate, this is all you. They play a Wizard, though, and I can counter that with something. With a Rocket. I love how they play a Balloon, and this guy decides to counter rush them with a Hog Rider. Like, that just shows you the logic of some of these players, man. I really do not understand that play at all. Ooh, Ice Spirit managed to jump onto that. Amazing. Prince, go. Okay, maybe not the best timing. I've got Executioner as well. This is amazing. I love how broken this card is. Anyway, here would you go play a giant and he's gonna get pushed by the knight nice go get held up though i don't know why he played his executioner as well that's a bit you know overkill really unneeded i really wish we had tornado like tornado would just make this deck 10 times better also why they just play the graveyard there i'll never know this bowler's just go bowl everything constantly we're gonna play a prince oh we got double prince i didn't even realize this this is a combo and a half let's go let you go run down this lane and kill everything we're gonna rocket the tower as well yeah this is looking like an easy victory boys we got so many like kill cards it's unreal i guess you could call it overkill that's the kind of like you know quality content you get on this channel let's go why did he play a wizard right in front of a prince like i said man this dude 2v2 partners man like you just don't try and understand them there's no point to it this guy's getting cocky and it's losing us the game stop this guy just legitimately did a solo push on them to like try and three crown them. why are you doing this stop it it didn't work the first time it's not gonna work the second time like this time i even supported you with a giant and it's still not working that means you need to stop doing this 
please. We're just gonna go savage though on this counter push. Like, now's the time to push, dude. Use everything. Don't sit up for elixir. Oh my goodness, man. My teammate, I swear. Every time. Every game. Okay, now their, like, main tower's actually pretty low, in all honesty with you. And, yeah, it's it can be spell cycled. But, you know, not quite yet. Unless these goblins do some damage. There we go. Just defend. 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 I need that bowler to tank. There we go. We win. I don't think my teammate realized if he just played defense a bit earlier, we could have won that, like, easily. But yeah, 2v2 double elixir draft challenge. You get some really interesting opponents. It's always really funny to play in there. And I know I complain a lot about my teammate, but that's just because, man, they don't think the same as me. But yo, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, make sure you guys leave a like. Tell me in my comment section, have you guys ever played the exact same dude in a challenge before? Like, in the same run? Like, that's really bizarre. And when it happened, we were just saying wow to each other like a bunch. Make sure you guys take care, brush your hair, and peace out. Yeah.